Hello, Scorpio. Hello and welcome to Window to the Soul. This is your December 2023 General Celtic Cross. This is the final general reading of 2023. Moving us into the new year. In a Mercury retrograde, nonetheless. <laughs> Your overall energy for December, Scorpio, is the Eight of Cups. You're leaving something behind. Definitely leaving something behind. Is this a person, a situation, a mindset? Jupiter in Pisces. No, sorry, my bad. Saturn in Pisces. Saturn in Pisces is the Eight. It's the Nine that's Jupiter. Definitely a card that comes with a degree of... Um, Sadness. Let's see what's crossing you. Star. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. This is really, really nice energy. Aquarius, Uranus, fixed air. Whatever this is, whatever you're leaving, even if there is a tinge of sadness, it's leaving you with a feeling of relief and peace. Whatever is going on here, the phrase bittersweet definitely comes to mind. Lies at the root of this situation is the justice card. Good for you. You have, the gavel has gone down. You have made this call. You wanted something fair, something correct, something right. You wanted something that you deserved. You've, you've righted a wrong here. Yeah. And again, there is a bittersweet element to it, but you have righted a wrong and you know that. And this is like, that's not my problem anymore. I'm going to let karma take care of this from now on. This is beautiful. The empress in the past. Yeah, you. this is almost like saying you did nothing wrong. You know you didn't. You know, I think whatever this situation is, this person, this situation, whether this be a romantic connection or a career or a friendship, you nurtured this. You took care of this. You gave to this. You cared for this. You tried to grow this. You know, if this was a seed, you you watered it, you tended to it, you weeded it. You, you encouraged it. You made sure it had the right environment, the right conditions. You did everything within your power to, to have a successful outcome here. Um, it's almost like you've hit this point where you, you recognize that you can do no more here. You know, if this is a situation where there's you and another person involved, that's a 50-50. You know, your 100% is still only 50%. And if the other equation, the other part of this equation is bringing like a couple of percent at best on, on a good day, there's nothing more you can do. But you have, you did, you're walking away here knowing that you tried your best, you tried your hardest. You know, you're not going to be looking back on this thinking, oh, maybe if I'd said this, maybe if I don't know, you, you've peaked. What's on your mind? The Eight of Swords. Goodness me. You feel you feel like the victim in this situation. I think there's a part of you that's kind of resentful because you know you did your part. You're resentful that this other equation, this other person, this other part of the, the situation here was unable to kind of pick up the slack, pick up their slack and, and do their fair share. You feel unheard. So, and I think that's where the bitterness and the resentment and the anger comes from. Gemini energy here, Taurus and Libra energy here, Pisces, Aquarius and Libra up there. Coming in in the near future for you, the Page of Swords. Ooh, okay. Be careful of flying monkeys. You know, you might have that, ooh, guess what so-and-so is up to? And you're like, I literally didn't ask. Um, you know, it has happened to a lot of us and it, this might not be the exact situation for you, of course, 
take it as it resonates but like you know if you split up with somebody and they've, they've been your ex for like two years or something insane like that and then you have this random person who is like a a, a mutual friend coming over to you like oh you won't believe what so and so is up to and it's like what 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 are you doing <laughs> why would you are you shit stirring or like what's what's the goal here what's the goal here you know i feel like you've got somebody around you who is delivering you information about something or someone that you've left you know maybe it's a career that you've left and you've got somebody here still dropping into your dms going oh so and so has been promoted to your position blah 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 you know and it's like this is not helpful definitely don't see you appreciating this energy your advice and guidance is the seven of swords oh wow that's pretty intense advice and guidance the moon in aquarius you've got a lot of aquarius energy coming through here actually aquarius is the 11th house it's the house of alliances and groups and social awareness so that's definitely thematically something that might be tied up with your reading here today but your advice and guidance is to be strategic withhold information where appropriate yeah let's call it and there's, there's other words that are springing to mind right here but we'll just call it strategy, okay? Be strategic, be clever. Think smarter, not harder in this situation is the advice and guidance. Wow, okay. Someone else in this situation is represented by the Six of Swords. Hmm, more Aquarius energy. I think you've got somebody here that's relieved. That relief that I spoke about, I think there's somebody else here that is also relieved, honestly. Um, what I see now, because this Eight of Cups is is kind of you, the Six of Swords is somebody else. I kind of see two people going in different directions, both with that degree of bittersweet sadness, but both with a sense of relief. So I wonder if your issue isn't really even this thing or person that you're leaving. It's other people that are rolled up in this situation that feel like they are deserving of an opinion. I don't think you agree that they are deserving of an opinion, but that's not going to stop them. The magician in your hopes and fears. Okay, this is, this is really nice. You definitely, the star suggests this as well. You definitely have like hope for the future. This is not a all is lost, you know. You, you definitely have another direction to go in. You have something else to work towards here. There is, you know, the sun is rising over there on the horizon somewhere and you definitely have this um, faith and hope. Um, you know, and I think this situation has has helped you to, to realize your real resilience and to help you to see your strength. And I think in a way, it's helped you to reconnect with your inner self. And it's been quite self-affirming, you know, that it's all very well to say, oh, I have all of these boundaries and these are my non-negotiables. But when you actually hit the moment where those are put to the test and you have to make a decision, that's when the metal meets. I, I don't know the rest of that phrase. <laughs> that, that's, that's the point. That's the moment where it's truly put to the test, right? And think you've like kind of passed the test of am i able to maintain my own boundaries boundaries are wonderful when you're surrounded by stable emotionally um securely attached people that that recognize boundaries and have a healthy respect for them and don't try to push them every two minutes 
And then you never have your boundaries tested or pushed. You always have your boundaries respected and treated with care and, uh, and respect and everything's good, right? But then you meet somebody or there's a situation where, you know, it, it is pushing your boundary. It is testing your boundary. And this is you kind of going, nope, nope, that's still my boundary and sticking to it. That doesn't make it easy. And sometimes we have to cut things or people out of our lives that weren't a hundred percent bad, you know? Um, so it does make it bittersweet, but I think ultimately you've kind of been true to yourself. And I think that despite the sadness makes you feel good about that. You know, you may be losing something here, but you're not losing yourself. And that, there's, there's so much power in that. Your ultimate outcome here is the sun. Beautiful. Fantastic. You're going to be fine. You're going to be absolutely fine. Truth can hurt, all of that stuff, you know, but ultimately you kind of see it for what it is. It's like a veil has been lifted from your eyes. Or maybe there was no veil ever there, but you're, you're kind of standing in your power and saying no, basically. Um, I, I will not be treated this way. I will not have my boundaries disrespected. I will not have somebody nudging up against my boundaries, just trying to 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 push them inch by inch in the in the, in the wrong direction. No, no. You you've been true to yourself. You've stood up for yourself, and you've done right by you. You have not compromised yourself or your needs because somebody else was un, incapable of respecting your boundaries. So despite the bittersweet sadness, that's there's, there's like there's like an energy of triumph here, you know? But several things can be true at the same time. You know, you can be sad and you can miss someone and you can still feel empowered and triumphant all at the same time. I think that's kind of what you've got going on here, honestly. I'm going to move this over to the extended. The link to that is in the description for anybody not able to go to the extended today. I know cosy living and all of that, you know, I know it's not easy for everybody right now. Please don't stretch yourself if you can't afford to do that, especially with the holiday season. It's ridiculously expensive, everything right now, isn't it? Um, but if you can, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a few dollars and uh, it really does help me. And we will get into some more details. But for those of you that are saying goodbye today, please do check back. Please like and subscribe if you feel so inclined massively massively appreciated let's get a happy card here and see if there's a chakra that you would benefit from paying attention to it's a root chakra the red one right down at the bottom of the, at the base of your spine it's the chakra of survival it's about your comfort and your safety and your ability to trust and to feel safe and grounded and to feel connected to your physical body. Doing anything that reconnects you to your physical body right now would be really, really advantageous. It, you know, you don't have to go out and run a marathon or or do a yoga class. Well, yoga would be perfect, to be honest. But you can meditate. You can get yourself in the present moment. You can go for a walk. It's, it can be something as simple as that. The universe brings you, Scorpio, everything that you need. This actually finished with quite a triumphant flourish. So good for you. I'll see some of you over in the extended. We're going to get the Forest of Enchantment out on this reading.